Uh, hi everyone, in this video, we will be seeing how to integrate the Eclipse with your Loadrunner Vision. So first, I have created a simple Java Vizor script. After creating Java Vizor script, to integrate Eclipse with your Vision for script development, uh, first we need to download the Eclipse before you start integrating. Okay, so I have already downloaded the Eclipse, which is in my download folder, which is in my download folder. And so if you see that I have downloaded the uh, Eclipse, uh, downloaded, the, I have my Eclipse Kepler. So let's uh, rename to the Eclipse Kepler. Eclipse Kepler, I have downloaded Eclipse Kepler. So download the VUGENs which are, which are compatible with your load runner. So how to know which Eclipse is compatible? Download the Eclipse uh, which are uh, older than your region. So now, uh, after seeing the uh, after seeing the editor, go to the tools here. Under the tools, here, the options here. Under the options, go to the scripting part here. After the scripting part, go to the Java. From Java, click on the Eclipse uh, ID location. Browse on three dot. Click on three dot. It will browse. From there, select the go to the navigate to your uh, Eclipse where you have installed and go to the exe file and click OK open Now click OK It will open the Eclipse now. So now we have we have configured the Eclipse part from where it has to open now click on this uh, Icon Eclipse icon So then it will start opening the your script in Eclipse So if everything goes fine, you should see your script in your Eclipse workspace you should be able to see your Eclipse uh, workspace with your script along with your script and your dependencies if you have already added any. So yeah, it's loading. Now uh, we have opened the workspace. Now we got the Java project here, which is our script. And uh, we have all the dependencies of our scripts here. Okay, if you see that we have all the dependencies of our scripts. So if you want to add any of the jars to your uh, script, then go to uh, Java project and click on build path, configure build path, and um, add the external jars here. So click library, select external jars here, and uh, uh, select the jar what you're looking for. So if you see, I'm adding the jars here. Active in view, click OK. So now you got your jar, you got you got the jar active in view jar here and click save. Click save and if you enter the some uh, 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 log dot in for something, if you save this, it will fail, will compilation will fail, but still you can see the same code here. Okay, we got it here. So if you delete from here, it will update in your eclipse here. It was updated in your Eclipse here. Okay, so if you come here and uh, you can see the runtime settings as well. So it will update the runtime settings of your jar what we added. So if you see that we have added the jar file into a runtime setting active MQ and it was added to your runtime settings. So yeah, the changes what you make here, the changes what you make here uh, will in Eclipse will uh, reflect in your Java we use the script. So once you're done with your script, Save your save the script and close the Eclipse because uh, when you're trying to replay your script uh, from Vision, it will take a lot of memory. If your Eclipse is uh, open during the replay of your Java, page the script, it may uh, hang your machine and it may delay your uh, uh, it may crash your machine. So make sure that you close your Eclipse before running your Java Vision script. Thanks for listening, friends.